hi welcome to my channel i am so excited to have you if you're a new subscriber you are welcome and if you are a returning subscriber you are welcome as well i am so excited about today's topic because it is something that affects a lot of us you know there's this constant struggle about dating right a lot of people aspire to date up because they want to be better they want whoever they're getting with to advance their lives dating down is a big no for some people and when you're dating down and you're not comfortable with it you can say that you are settling oh yes you are settling and you would wish that you were dating someone better so today i am going to be sharing with you some tips to let you know whether or not you're settling okay and if those tips are things that you can resonate with i tell you my friend that indeed you are settling in your relationship okay if you haven't subscribed to my channel guess what this is a very good time to do so come on support me please subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification so that you would be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you're ready for the show, I am ready. So let's dive into it. The first sign to know that you're settling in your relationship is that if you think it, then you are most likely settling. You know what they say about ever thinking or doubting if someone loves you. So if you have to doubt or wonder if someone loves you, there's a very high chance that they don't. The same thing applies in this situation. If you ever wonder whether or not you are settling, then there's a very high chance that you are settling. Because if you weren't, you wouldn't even conceive that thought in the first place if you were dating someone whom you truly love and whom you okay and satisfied with you would have no room for such thoughts so why are you even thinking about it in the first place why are you second guessing yourself it means that there is something wrong so if your mind is telling you i tell you what my friend our instincts are so strong and most times our instincts are always telling us the right things to do they are always trying to put us in check but of course we are stubborn most of the time and we don't even listen to our instincts okay so if your instincts are seriously telling you and nudging you that you are settling for this person there's a very high chance that you are okay because if you weren't you would be so busy enjoying your time enjoying your relationship with this person that you wouldn't even consider or think that you are settling for them all right so don't be so quick to push that thought away don't be so quick because it might be true after all okay if i were you i would pay more attention to it and then find out if i need to do something about it instead of just pushing or brushing it aside the second sign to know that you're settling in your relationship is having a feeling that you deserve someone better loving someone and being with them is a decision okay truth is there are several other people out there that are better looking than your date richer than your date and better than your date in so many ways but you chose to be with this person for a reason they become your best in that moment all right and that's where the feeling of being content comes in you are okay with this person it doesn't mean that you don't see their flaws it doesn't mean that you don't see their inadequacies but you choose to be with them and turn a blind eye to all of those things that could be wrong with them all right but if you are constantly looking out for those inadequacies constantly pointing them out and feeling that you know what you could be with someone better then you are most likely settling okay if you're so convinced within your soul that you could have been with somebody better then why are you with this person why don't you just move on and go be with that better person okay constantly feeling like you could do better than this person you could be somewhere better without this person but with someone else 
is a huge sign that you are settling okay if you cannot be content in your relationship and be satisfied with your partner the way that they are there's a very big problem okay your feeling of them being inadequate for you of them being not enough for you is a very big problem because they can never do anything right in your eyes you will have a problem with everything that they do even when they go the extra mile to do their best to impress you to make you feel great you will never acknowledge them for the effort so instead of continually feeling that way i think it's best that you just move on to that better person that you think you can have all right if you always feel like your date could be better you could be with somebody better then it's about time that you did something about it trust me always putting somebody down because you feel that they are not good for you is not a good thing okay you're doing them so much damage you're tearing their self-esteem apart and even if both of you break up tomorrow that damage could linger in them for a very long time the third sign that you're settling in your relationship is constantly comparing your relationship with other people's okay fine perhaps your relationship isn't the best hmm? but instead of you to try to figure things out you are always comparing it with that of other people you look at your friends and you say oh your friends are doing way better than you they have better relationships uh, if you're a woman you could say oh your boyfriends are the best in the world your boyfriends are better than yours if you're a man you could say oh your friends girlfriends are way better than yours you're always looking for something to compare and that is not cool it means that you are not okay with what you have it means that you feel that you are better than what you have and when you feel that you're better than what you have it means that you are settling for what you have there's no need for the comparison everybody is different everybody is unique okay your partner is unique you don't have to continue to compare them with your friends partners or your family members partners no that is so unhealthy okay you have to be content with who you have you have to be satisfied with them they might not be perfect but instead of you to always compare them to other people why don't you find ways to make them better why don't you find ways to make them improve whatever behavior it is that you don't like that they are doing that is a better way to go about it okay if you are truly truly comfortable with your partner and you don't feel like you're settling you won't be in a hurry to compare them to other people you won't be in a hurry to say you know what my friend has a better date than i do my friend's date is way better than mine if that's how you feel then why are you with this person okay you need to quit the comparison if you feel that you can do better just go ahead and do better nobody is putting a gun to your head and saying you must be with this person you must date this person no if you feel that you're settling from the constant comparison why don't you just move on i think you'll be doing yourself and your partner a lot of good instead of always comparing them to other people trust me you wouldn't want someone else to compare you to other people because the comparison would be a great disservice to you and your self-esteem no matter how great you feel about yourself the moment someone begins to compare you to other people your mind will start playing games on you and start pointing out all of those things that are not so great about you so if you are always comparing your partner to someone else's you're comparing your relationship uh, to that of your friends and your family members that's a huge sign that you feel that you are settling in your relationship and you're probably right because if you were not settling you would have no reason whatsoever to always compare what you have with what someone else has we're still talking about signs that you're settling in your relationship and the fourth tip is that you are not proud of your partner everybody is proud about something good if you have something great you want the whole world to know about it you can't even keep calm you can't trust me you would want to flaunt it to everyone and that is what happens when you're dating someone whom you truly love 
and you have no problems with you would want to show them off to your friends and even to strangers you would want them to follow you to many places because when they are with you you are happy and you feel so great that people are seeing them with you but the reverse is the case if you are not so cool with that person if you are sadly for that person trust me you won't be so proud of them you would want to hide them from the world because you feel that they are not your best and nobody wants the world to see them at moments that are not their best moments everybody wants the world to see them at their best think about social media for instance nobody posts about their worst days and their worst moments online no everybody puts their best foot forward the same thing happens when you're dating if you're so comfortable with that person you would want to put them forward all the time you would want people to see them it's like a trophy hey this is the person that i'm with this person is so cool you know but if you're not proud of your partner and you're always finding ways to keep them behind so that people will not see them with you that is a big sign that you are settling okay are you constantly hiding your date from your friends are you constantly hiding your date from your family that's a huge sign that you're settling for that person because if you were proud of them and if you were comfortable with them you would want all your friends to know them you would want all your friends to meet them because to you they are probably the best thing that has ever happened in your life if you don't feel so proud of them if you don't feel proud of introducing them to your people and just showing them off what's the point you want to be with somebody that you can flaunt as much as you want i mean if your partner is such a great person it will rub off on you you would want people to see them because if people see that they are so great they will indirectly feel that you are so great yourself because like attracts like but if you're constantly hiding your partner you're not proud of them i tell you what my friend you are indeed settling for that the fifth sign that you're settling in your relationship is that you don't see your partner in your future all you see them in is your present so when you think about tomorrow you think about five months from now two years from now or even five years from now you can't picture yourself being with that person it means that they are not for the long haul and if you're not a child if you're not a teenager if you're advanced in age why would you be dating somebody that you don't see yourself being with in the future i think that that is a waste of time i can understand if it's nothing serious if it's just a fling but to say that you are in a serious relationship with somebody and you don't see them in your future what is the point why are you even doing that okay so you need to be honest with yourself tell yourself the truth i don't see myself settling down with this person okay even if i'm not looking to get to get him married I don't see myself five years from now with this person. I don't see myself planning my future with this person, making all serious plans and doing things together. It means that you're just with that person for some temporal benefit. That's what it means. If you can't see them for the long haul, you can't see them doing big things with you in the future, you know, achieving your dreams with you and just being there to motivate you to do great things in life it means that both of you don't belong together for the long haul okay if you would rather picture someone else with you and not them that's a huge sign that you are truly settling and it's okay if that is something that you're doing willingly and intentionally but if that's not your intention now you know that you're settling you can do something about it the sixth sign to know that you're settling in your relationship is feeling that you would rather be in that relationship than be alone you're scared of being single you're scared of being all by yourself and yes i know that it's a good thing to be with somebody create moments together and just be happy together but you shouldn't be with them just because you don't want to be all by yourself that is not good at all because you are doing a great disservice to yourself you should be with somebody because you really want to be with them not because you feel that you don't have an option 
okay being alone isn't as bad as you think it is it's better for you to be alone and happy than be with somebody that makes you sad somebody that makes you unhappy so if your only reason for being with this person is that you don't want to be alone i tell you you are most likely settling because if you had somebody better you would leave this person without even thinking twice you would move you're settling because you feel you don't have another option. That's what it is. If you did, you wouldn't be with this person. That is settling. You should know that you are with this person because you want to be with them. Even if you had thousands of options, you would still choose this person. In that case, you're not settling. You shouldn't be afraid of being all by yourself. Loneliness isn't such a bad thing. Sometimes you have to be alone to discover yourself and to truly find yourself and know what you're all about so that when you get with somebody, you will bring your best self to the tables, okay? So if you're with your partner because you don't want to be alone, now you know that indeed you are settling for them. Sometimes we find ourselves settling in a relationship without even knowing it. Initially, we thought that this person would be the best for us and then we dive into the relationship and then we begin to realize that nope, this person isn't all that we thought that they were and now we have found certain things about them that are not so cool with us and we begin to, you know, have all these doubts, second guessing our decisions and all of that. It's okay if after evaluating the situation, you feel that being with this person isn't the best for you. Remember, it's not a must to be with them. You should be with somebody because you really want to be with them, not because you're being compelled to, okay? So you can always take a walk. Taking a walk from a relationship doesn't necessarily make you a bad person. Sometimes it's the best for both of you. It means that both of you deserve to be with other people, other people that would make your lives better. I recently did a video titled, What Your Body Count Says About You. Trust me, it's a very interesting video. You don't want to miss it. You can find it right here, okay? Watch the video and then find out what your body count truly says about you. My name is Chris. Once again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. And don't forget to turn on the notification so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. It was nice talking to you on this one. See you on the next one.